What is going on, everybody? Welcome to the Polly Buck YouTube channel. My name is Paul, and I sure am glad to have you with me on this one here today. Today, I'm talking about an energy company, Atha Energy Group, and everything that you really need to know about this company, where they've been, where they came from, and where they're going in the future with uranium. Stick around if this is something that you're going to be into as we learn all about the Atha Energy Group. Give it to me like. All right, guys, so I stated this video is brought to you by and for public awareness of Atha Energy Corp, Canada's premier uranium exploration company. You can find them with the U.S. stock ticker of SASKF. Again, that's SASKF, Atha Energy Corp. Even though domestic uranium production on the U.S. soil is virtually non-existent, buying enriched uranium from Putin was never going to be a long-term solution because America has allies to the north that are perfectly suited to supply it. Biden signed a bipartisan bill prohibiting Russian imports of enriched uranium to continue. With Trump in his disengagement from the international energy markets, especially on enemy nations. Russia was supplying 20% of the U.S. nuclear fuel, but this is now in the rearview mirror and has opened doors to billions in revenue and profits for alternatives. It's not that hard to understand what's going on here. This is the equation. Money that was sent to Russia every year will now go to Canadian, in American companies. So here's how we'll start with Atha Energy Corporation. They have the largest land package in the world's top jurisdiction of the Athabasca Basin. It's the largest, let that sink in. They have the largest cast proposition of any small cap uranium stock by orders of magnitude. It's the largest Again, let that sink in. They are commencing upon the largest ever exploration program in the Athabasca Basin. Again, let that sink in. The largest ever. They have the largest land package in the Thelon Basin, which is dubbed the new Athabasca Basin. It's the largest. Let that sink in and allow me to add this because you're going to love it. The basin has seen the scope of exploration the Athabasca Basin saw 50 years ago already. It's the equivalent of going to the Athabasca Basin in 1975. Those weren't my words, but those were the words of Troy Bajale, the CEO of Atha Energy Corporation. Here's a little track record of the company's management team. How did this company with a market cap of only 137 million and 42 million of it in cash become the largest holder of land in the world's top uranium jurisdiction? It took the co-founders who are the company's biggest shareholders nearly a decade to stake this basin. Just stop for a second and think of the extreme level of entrepreneurship this requires to walk to the surface of the basin and claim 4.8 million acres of land. That's what you're getting with the Athabasca Basin asset. Let's just put this in perspective. If you're sitting there listening to this and you already hold a uranium stock, Call the company and ask how much actual cash they are spending in 2024 to explore new uranium discoveries. Atha Energy is in a league of its own and is going to be spending the following sums, and it's the highest in the industry. $12 million on the Angeletic Project, $9 million on the Gemini Project and $9 million on the grassroots exploration in the Athabasca Basin and Thelon Basins. The company CEO used to work for the largest uranium producer. He was also the chief geologist at a mine they were about to deplete. He came in, 
he led to the discovery of 50 million pounds of uranium. The mine had 9 million pounds before him. He added 50 million to that 19 million pounds. The Angelac Project, a high-grade uranium deposit located with the district-scale expansion of potential. The previous owners of this project resourced in 2011, drilled it in 2012, increased the resources by nearly 100%, kept at it, increased by another 50% in 2013, and then just stopped. Why? What happened? The answer is Fukushima. Yes, the Fukushima that created the bear market that allowed the co-founders of Atha Energy to scoop up the largest land package in the Athabasca Basin is the same event that caused the previous owners to stop dead in their tracks because the industry came to a halt. This should make you smile. It should make you light up with joy because of Tony, the CEO of Atha Energy, is a geologist with expertise in projects like these. When he was with Caneco, he discovered 50 million pounds of uranium at Eagle Point. Then with the next employer, it increased the resources from 200 million to 330 million pounds. Are you understanding all of this? Drilling is set to begin, so get ready to watch from the outside. Or by the way, here is a stock chart of Tony's previous company. With over 28 years in the mining sector, grassroots exploration, project evaluation, and development in mining operations. He was the chief geologist of mining operations, where he was responsible for managing the geology, geotechnical, and ground freezing developments. For the first time in his life, he has transitioned from working for the world's largest uranium producers to early stage development and exploration with Atha Energy. If that shocks you, sit down and relax. Atha Energy is very attractive, and I don't think this will be the last high-caliber executive that finds it too good to resist. Atha recently began deploying the company's most significant exploration program to date into multiple projects with significant upsides. Now that you know the chief geologist of the world's number one uranium mine has joined the team of Atha Energy, what else is missing to get the full picture of opportunity? The Thelon Basin asset, Atha Energy holds an expansive northern exploration portfolio, 2.9 million acres. Troy, the CEO of Atha Energy, considers the Thelon Basin to be what the Athabasca Basin was 50 years ago for many reasons. If you want to know the reasonings, I've already told you, so go ahead and call him or email him. Their team worked for a full month on staking the entire basin. Then, in the matter of less than 24 hours, mostly outside of the office, when North American is sleeping, they spent $3 million buying the largest land package in the Thelon Basin. This is your management if you are a shareholder of Atha Corporation. It's trading now for $0.69 cents with the analyst price target of $3. Their U.S. stock ticker, SASKF, where it trades in the U.S. for 50 cents. Here's the analyst report. Here's the heading of that report, and I'm about to give you some of the best quotes from that report. Target, we're initiating coverage of Atha Energy Corp. with a buy rating and a $3 share target base price. Reasoning, exploration offers the highest to the uranium trade. Explorers with recent discoveries in the Athabasca Basin were up 60% on average on the day the hole was announced, highlighting the potential for SASK to provide torque to the investors through exploration. Noticeably competitive advantage. Given its commanding land position of 8.1 million acres across its portfolio and totally 
and total mineral inventory of 57.8 million pounds, we believe there isn't an actual true peer comparison for Atha. Atha will likely become the takeout candidate. Major shareholders have a strong track record in the basin. Atha's major shareholders, Matthew Mason, Tim Young, own 11%. And landstaking team is responsible for finding the fundamental assets that led to the discovery of Arrow. The same team that also found and sold the Rough Rider deposit, for $650 million in 2012. Atha's CEO and geologist leads a strong technical team with extensive exploration experience in the basin. Key investment risks include commodity price of uranium, exploration risk, and key management potential risks. This was Atha Energy Corp., Canada's premier uranium exploration company.